conjuring images of nomadic horsemen, breathtaking scenery, spectacular monuments and crippling poverty, 25 years after emerging from under the Soviet yoke, Central Asia remains an enigma. Home to the descendants of Genghis Khan's great horde and a single nation of Persians, in the 19th century the once hugely important Silk Road states became a pawn in the great game of expansion and espionage between Britain and Russia, disappearing for over a century behind what would become known as the Iron Curtain. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, the five new nations of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan were born. Propelled to the centre of a new great game through a combination of their strategic location and the discovery of vast oil and gas reserves, since independence Central Asia has seen one bloody civil war, two revolutions and seven dictators one of whom presided over arguably the most fully formed cult of personality ever. Closing the country's hospitals so he could build a leisure centre for horses, ironically the man who banned gold teeth and advised his long-suffering people to gnaw on bones was succeeded by his dentist. In my new book, Does It Yurt Travels in Central Asia or How I Came to Love the Stands, I take the reader on a voyage of discovery. A humorous mix of travel and reportage, the book explores the region's rich history and folklore. So don your tailpack and come with me as I travel to a desert sea, a collapsed Russian gas rig daubed the gate to hell, and along the heroin highway atop the roof of the world, exploring these nations and unearthing the stories people and places behind these fascinating lands.